So here we are with one of our notable graves here in Grange Gorman Military Cemetery and if you have a look at the headstone here it's Company Sergeant Major Martin Dial. First of all he was from New Ross and Wexford and as a young boy he left home and he signed himself into the British Army. Now to his father's horror who had to sell a prized cow to go and buy him back out of the army. But as soon as Martin was ready to go again after 18 years of age he headed straight back over to England and signed up again. He was awarded the Victoria Cross which is the highest award for gallantry in the British forces. I'm sure you've seen the film Forrest Gump and there's a notable scene where he's cut, he's in battle in Vietnam uh, they're ambushed and his friend is shot. He actually goes and saves his friend. He hears another of his colleagues uh, crying out and then goes and saves him and he actually gets hit himself but continues to save his men and for that he got a medal of honour and something very similar happened to Martin Doyle. So he would have seen service in India and then during the First World War he signed up and he was sent over to France and to a place called Rhinecourt and during an ambush um, one of their tanks were was ambushed and a number of his men were taken prisoner so he went and freed them he silenced the tank and he took prisoners himself now he was brought to Buckingham Palace and he met with King George V and Queen Mary and he was the only Irishman at the reception on that day. So when he came back after his service of, uh, with the British forces after the First World War, he came back to Ireland and he wasn't happy with what he seen the British forces do to his own comrades or his own uh, countrymen. So he joined up to volunteer with the IRA. Now he was actually posted down in County Clare in the barracks and although he wanted to be hands on, he wanted to be out in the streets fighting, he was best used in the barracks, so he was sort of like an intelligence officer there. And Martin Dial, after um, his work during the uh, War of Independence here in Ireland, he was actually worked as a security guard in Guinnesses. Um, unfortunately, he got polio and he died in Sir Patrick Dunn's hospital on the 20th of November 1940. An interesting fact about Martin Dial uh, is that lots of people believe he was actually buried in his British uniform and we've done a lot of research and we found out that that's not actually true. He was buried in a brown habit which was very common at the time, it was a normal procedure and um, he didn't actually get buried here in the British Army uniform. Okay, lots of people know Martin Dial as the man who was in three different wars and in three different armies. The reason being, he, um, after his time in the British forces, he joined the IRA and then when we got our free state here, he actually joined the Free State Army. Okay, the next thing I'd like to talk to you about is the RMS Leinster and uh, only in 2018 we remembered all those died over just a hundred years ago. Um, we planted a tree and we had many people that visited the graveyard from all across the world, from Australia, America, New Zealand, England, France and we'll talk a little bit about them next.